Great artists like Rembrandt and Van Gogh have inspired many people over the years. A painter from Stillwater has his own inspiring story. Joe Mazin introduces us to him in this week's So Minnesota. Outside the hustle and bustle of Stillwater Art Guild Gallery, his works of art hang quietly on the wall. Yeah, that works. But creating colors on a canvas, Michael turns to Dizzy for sound inspiration. And that's when these colors all started to kind of pop into my head, but I never understood it. Stillwater artist Michael D'Amelio paints what he hears. Somehow I always came back to jazz. And jazz, part of the reason is they're very similar to like an impressionist painting. When Michael hears musical sounds, he sees shades. Sounds in general, I always like, when I listen to music and stuff, I see colors. Michael can only hear with the help of hearing aids. Being deaf, it's one of the hardest things that people don't seem to get with me is we don't always pick up on everything. You know, we pick up on what we hear. And those sounds have those types of energy that applies to the emotion that I want to place onto a canvas. His hearing aids are connected to his phone. Which is fantastic. You know, I can shut up the world anytime I want. You know, I can just go, you know, be listening to my music while somebody's talking. I'd be like, I'm sorry, what? Oh, click, sorry. <laughs> just listen to my music, yeah. He first picked up a brush as a child growing up outside of Detroit. After moving to Minnesota about a decade ago, Michael decided to make art a career. And I was just trying to think like, you know, I would love to do this, you know, as a passion to pursue it. But, you know, every artist, you know, has to think about how. For Michael, painting is a meditative act. When he wants to find a different scene, he moves outdoors for inspiration, soaking up the beauty of nature barefoot loose and fancy free. His public art attracts questions. How do you do this? What do you do? You know, how long have you been doing this? And that's the real challenge is how much can you get done within that short amount of time? Because you're having conversations for 20 minutes, you're just like, I gotta get back to work, you know? <laughs> Michael says every time he sells one of his paintings, it's like part of his past finding a new future. I'm just happy that they are able to take a part of my life, you know, with them. And, you know, being able to see the joy that it brings to them is what makes me move forward even more. Silence may be golden, but sounds inspire this artist, creating a harmony of colors on canvas. In Stillwater, Joe Mason, 5 Eyewitness News. His colors just scream joy. What a cool man. Joe takes us to a different part of Minnesota every Monday night. If you have ideas about where Joe should go next, email us at nightcast at kstp.com.